reached identical 71 weighed in at 147. Elias, four and four, age 27, height 5'6", reach identical, weight 144.5. Our co-main event of the amateur side. Whoa, lands the back. I like that. You're Nate, right, it is gymnastics. He came in and had this. Was that a goal? Did he get the goal? I mean, he definitely did. Not Simone Biles, but that was pretty damn good. It was great. All right, guys. Let's go with Christopher James with our co-main event announcements. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with our next bout of the evening. Brought to you by RWB Golf Carts and Hot Tubs. This is set for three, three minute round of MMA in the Island Fights Featherweight Division. And when the action starts inside the ring, our referee, Larry Downs Jr. And now, let's meet our fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing five feet 10 and weighing in 147 pounds. Tonight, he comes to the ring with a record of seven wins and five defeats. Representing Team Remedy and fighting out of Pensacola, Florida, please welcome Cam Bennett. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, standing five feet five, weighing in 144 and one half pounds. Tonight, he comes to the ring with a record of four wins and six defeats. Representing the kettle and fighting out of Birmingham, Alabama, please welcome Elias Anders. All right, I was looking forward to this one all night long, all week long. There we go, we've been asking for it. Here is Asanata Tequila here in the commentary booth. All right, here we go, guys. Bandit, Anders. Anders is bringing the pressure right in front of us. Anders knees to the body, into the clinch. Oh, big knee right there by Anders. Anders came in with tons of energy into this fight. Good spin back there by Cam, controlling. Both gentlemen are short, stocky. Oh, that was a, that a was little a low, shot. right? Maybe Cam, Cam can come back with the knee right back, would be massive. I mean, he called for the groin shot. Let's see. Those are beautiful knees here, beautiful knees. Both gentlemen are very square. They're kind of bent over, which is right. perfect to land knees. And I mean, they're okay with trading right now. Kind of stuck in the ropes right here. Finally, Cam has unders. Talking about the Olympics, we've got a Greco-Roman wrestle match right now. A little knee to the body there by Cam. I love the grappling in this. However, Cam, what Cam is doing here is he's, he's he doesn't at the moment, but he had underhooks most of this time here. And although, yes, underhooks are advantageous for leverage, he's he's carrying all this weight, so right. really he's tiring right. himself out. But both gentlemen now have half a half tie clinch and are just trading knees. Big this knee is, right there by Cam. This is gonna do some damage in the later rounds. Anders is throwing a little couple uppers right now. Oh, big shot there by Cam. Man, they are begging for a big knee. There's another one by Cam. Neither one of these gentlemen want to take a step back right now. They are both. Unbelievable. Big uppercut there by Anders. Bulls. Cam with another knee to the body. Nice, dirty boxing oh, here. Oh, uppercut again there by Anders Pearl. I'm curious wow. to see when they do decide to, to break, break away. grappling, <laughs> how how their striking is going to look. Are they going to be tired? Because this is a lot of work right now. They're, yep. they're working really Insane. hard right now. Insane. Two and a half minutes of this. But it seems like neither man wants to break away. They seem to have, oh, Cam Bryant broke away through a couple strikes. 
big need there by Anders. Anders seems to be forcing the pressure and, and forcing the grappling. Nice uppercuts. He's got beautiful uppercuts, but Cam's coming with, oh! Big body kick there by Cam. Nice body work. An end of round number one. Ferocious, ferocious first round there. Wow, a ton of clinch work, ton of knees. Both men had that uh, Muay Thai kind of overhand of uh, grappling strikes. A lot of action right there. Round number two is about to start. Bennett, Anders. Wow, Anders right to the fight. He goes right to the phone booth right away. I don't, I'm, I'm curious, does he want to grapple? I'm curious. All right, backed off. Bennett wants to throw the leather. Nice job there by Bennett. Great job of, of kind of establishing some range here, but again, these I, I feel like Anders is pressuring, pressuring the distance and pressuring and closing the distance and wants this tight fight. Right. Um, which is very interesting. I don't know if he's looking to grapple and Cam is just doing a great job of keeping his frames in here, fishing for underhooks, not allowing for Anders to get to his hips and get to his legs. Um, or if this is just the style of fight that Anders wants, is a nice tight tight, dirty boxing, dirty fight. Well, Cam might be going a little uh, suplex hunting right here. Nope. Both men back away. Action right in nice front of him. Cam with big shots. Big hooks. And that's what, this is what Cam's going to have to do. He's going to have to fight backwards because Anders is putting so much forward pressure on him right now. If he can just keep his distance, go back to his leg kicks, and his body kicks and just the, the kicking just there beautiful job now he's he's finding a way to control his his range because when anders gets tight he really does make this right. a very competitive right. fight cam does so much better and finds much more success at the end of his range One minute left here, round number two. Nice Ooh, nice work. shot there by Anders. Cam Bennett comes back. Nice inside work from Anders. But Anders. I think when, I think Cam lets him off the hook sometimes. He gets a couple nice shots in, and they kind of back away, and Cam kind of, I feel like, lets him. If he keeps that gas to the pedal and be uh, becomes the aggressor, I feel like he can Find Put punches and bunches. Headway. Find some headway. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that they're grappling. And it may not look like a lot, but this is a lot, a right. lot of work on your arms. Your arms are, are going to fatigue in, in, in these heavy grappling exchanges here. Great defense great there by defense. Bennett. Yes, great, great takedown defense. Oh, Anders. Cam, but An but Cam Anders is relentless in this takedown let's see if he can get in and get to the back great job on the back got one hook in already and fishing for that oh, right at round the round number two comes to an end wow ultra close fight right now here at island fights 84 bennett versus anders this is a grueling fight dave it's a grueling fight i mean these gentlemen are wearing their arms out they're carrying each other's weight. They're pushing each other. They're holding each other. Let's look at some of the replay here. These are the shots when Cam found his range, was able to find some good success in his combinations here. He's got clean body work, but Anders, again, relentless with the, with the forward pressure, came in for that takedown at the end of the round. Great job by both gentlemen. 
high level stuff, again, as amateur fighters, high, high level stuff. What I love about this fight is that both of these gentlemen have to find their way in areas that they're very clearly uncomfortable in. So they're having to adjust on the spot, under pressure, under the big lights, and that this is what you, this is all you can ask for in amateur fights is this, this experience in these, in these challenging moments here. It's very chaotic. Anders did find his way to the back. As you can see, he, um, Cam, Cam's a wizard. He has a great wizard right now, but he tends to let it go, and that's what, what's getting Anders to the back here, or what got him to the back in the, at the end of that second. Big knee there by Anders. It's grueling. This is such another. a good fight there. I mean, they're just another. trading. Look, you can tell that Cam is getting frustrated. But Anders doing a great job of attacking the body and wearing down his opponent. Cam's out of it. What a grueling fight. Cam is doing a great job of countering with grappling scenarios here and closing the distance as soon as Cam starts to strike. So, so Cam's got to almost add that seasoning, salt and pepper, in and out footwork great here. Count. And I don't, I, I don't know if he has that, but it's something that he will go and take home and will we'll work on for certain. Nice takedown entry here. Let's see if he can finish the takedown. He's got the, the, the lock. Yeah. Oh, great, great defense here by. Submission attempt here by Anders. Anders. Don't be silly. Jump the gilly. Nice knee. Get out nice of way it. to capitalize on that. Wow. Nice way to capitalize Very on that. Very impressed there by Anders. He's not, he's not pretty, but he is. Effective. You know what he reminds me of a little bit, not the wrestling type, but like a little bit like Mirage. Just continuous, just gritty, just always coming. Oh, big, big shot there kick. by Cam. Nice head kick. That's what I mean. Keep the gas come, keep the gas pedal going. That's a grueling one. Let's see if he can land another head kick. He yeah, saw it there. there it is. He's finding it. He does his best work at the end. At the end in that range. Let's see if he can keep this range for the next 40 seconds. Nice one too there by Cam. Great fight, guys. 30 seconds left of the last round. Great knee there by Bennett. Great job. 10 seconds. Wow. Big knee there to end it by Bennett. Great fight. Wow. Great fight, both men.
first of all, how about a round of applause for both these young men? What a fight! <laughs> After three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this 30-27 for Bennett. 29-28, Anders. And 30-27 for your winner by split decision. From the blue corner, Cam Bennett. Feeling, I, I don't know, honestly, kind of disappointed with my performance. Um, not what I expected. Before I move on with that, a shout out to r and Performance Automotive, Bam Snowballs, Garden Street Vintage, Max Fit and Pace, and my girlfriend's Strength and Conditioning, Lionheart Strength and Conditioning, um, and Team Remedy. I just want to thank all you guys in Pensacola, being a Pensacola kid, Fighting in front of all of you means the world to me. And I'm just so glad to show out in front of you. I'm sorry to give a lackluster performance in my opinion. I expect more from myself. Um, I'm a hard critic though. Well, we'll always live to fight another day. Were you surprised at all by the pressure of your opponent? Um, no, I thought he was gonna pressure me. Maybe just a little more pressure than I expected. He just came out like a bull. But the dude's freaking strong. I mean, he's five foot five, but dude's like an ox. So thank goodness, you know, I had that strength and conditioning behind me. But I mean, thank you guys. Um, I felt like I showed good dirty boxing, stuff like that, great knees in the clinch, defending a takedown. Dude's tough, great punches, punched a lot harder than I expected. Um, but again, that's my first decision win. I have had Horrible times with the judges. I usually lose a split decision, but uh, it feels good to put one in the bag. Well, incredible performance. Ladies